Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Um, um, it is the wake of uh, the um, Ride from Fortune. Okay, I want to say thank you to all you Virgos um, for all the support that you have been giving me for all the wonderful Energy Vibration that is all around um, thank you for the wonderful support I want to say I'm so happy I'm so grateful um, it is um, a new month a new week this is the first week on July 4th for the Americans we will be all celebrating our international world and um, um, they will be celebrating their um, Independence Day so this is wonderful so for the rest of the world um, you know celebrate um, and and um, you know connect with them it's always a wonderful um, thing it is all about love so it doesn't really matter if it's not your holiday or if it's your holiday it's a uh, it's about a time when family um, gather together and uh, um, people you haven't seen for a very long time and barbecue and the rest of it and I am here but yet still I be connecting on YouTube live so if you're interested to connect with me on YouTube live on 4th of July because that is the second year anniversary on YouTube so I want to say to each and every person out there if you'd like to connect live it's um I'll be on at 11 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and we're going to do a Q&A question so I'm hoping that uh, if you would like to um, connect with us we're all live on YouTube okay this is going to be wonderful um, this is um, a week of the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is a fire week but the zodiac energy is a water week um, I was surprised to see your reading but then afterwards I kind of see where it was going so as I look forward and I look I got um, this fell out in the reverse form it fell out on the reverse form what's whatever is happening to your um, and, 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 and what is so scary is that the Empress is the mother of the hurt and she mothers and govern you Virgo so whatsoever is happening your materialistic aspect is not uh, balancing out and there is going to be a situation that is going to come and this is going to be um, balanced out okay so at the end of the week you will no more in want but you will have what you need okay be aware of people who are um, vibrating a negative energy around you there are people who are being very jealous and bad-minded um the um, the ten of swords is falling out your back this is going to be your focus whatsoever had happened because I see here a breakdown there's um, the energy of uh, um, you know your situation your financial situation wasn't looking good but yet still your materialistic things you were in need you know that sort of a thing and here we have the ten of swords falling out of your back so whatsoever that was happening to you and what's to ever that was working against you it's no longer going to work against you in this week they're falling away because you have both of these so um, this one the swords the swords was blocking um, your financial um, situation okay whatever you need to survive the sword was blocking it and now um, this is all going to clear up in this week okay so remember um, because that is your focus okay as we look at your week it's going to be a wonderful week because all the worries and stuff okay you have the energy of the five of Pentacles in reverse okay so this is good whatsoever your financial situation is on Monday it's in the reverse your wishes and dreams are coming true so if you have financial situation and that sort of a thing it's going to be ill because of course you have um, things to do with financial situation on your your um, health and that sort of a th thing um, is more of uh, um, your standard of living and that sort of a thing so this is a situation that is going to occur but it's going to be good because the five of Pentacles is in reverse and your wishes and dreams are going to come true so whatsoever you have been wishing and dreaming for new work and that sort of a thing it's going to happen the next energy we have here is the Prince of 
cups and the prince of cups is someone between the ages of 18 and 35 whoever this person is and whatsoever is happening she is in the reverse form so there is two scenario for this for some people this woman was having effect as effect and blocked your uh, financial and your materialistic needs and she is out of the way now the second um, scenario is that if you're having a relationship uh, with the king with the um, the knight of cups or that sort of a, a thing which is somebody between the ages of 18 and 35 she is in your relationship she was in your relationship there was a third party and she is now out okay she's in a reverse form she's now out okay as we look at Wednesday in the middle of the week, I this was the, you know, I'm, I'm really going to use my glasses, people. Okay. That was the Seven of Pentacles on Monday. Seven of Pentacles. So, again, the Seven of Pentacles on Monday was a very, very, um, there is no failure because your wishes and dreams are coming true. My excuses. It was the Seven of Pentacles on Monday. So, as we look, as I know, the Five of Pentacles is different. We have the five of pentacles in the middle of the week and that is also not to worry because whatever worries you have, whatever situation, um, money is coming in. And, and, and money is going to, it's going to work for you. Um, it's good because what I'm seeing here is that the energy vibration of uh, um, the number six and the number eight, the number six and the number eight, okay? As we go look at Thursday, you are have you're having the Angman situation, which you're going back to find in a um, strength, in a strength for yourself, in a strength you're looking for, in a strength for yourself. It's as if your 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 light has outed out, and your wishes and dream. And by doing this, you're going to bring forward your wishes and dream, and this is extremely good. As we look at Friday, we have the Queen of Wands on Friday. The Queen of Wands is someone who is an Aries, um, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Whoever this woman is and whatever she's doing, you're getting good news. Um, um, some people are getting good news from her. Some people are getting good news about her. And this good news can be that she's out of the way. Whatever she was doing to block you, there is good news you're getting about this woman. And that she's either out of the way, she has no effect on you. But there is good news coming in. It could be someone that has been working against you because, they, and, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, it was someone that was working against you. <laughs> it's a light bulb moment when I go like that. Someone that was working against you because it's a, it's, um, the energy of uh, your um, envy, deceit, and jealousy who was working against you. Good news is going to come out. Good news. You're going to hear good news that something has happened as if uh, um, um, she pays you back some money or um, somebody has the same trap that she did for someone. She has gotten caught in her same trap and her same kind of things that she has been doing. So, Whoever this person was, this person was working against you. This person had envy and jealous for you. But good news is coming um, um, from that person. It's not coming from the person. It's going to come to you via via to know that whatsoever she has done by you, she is being caught. Okay? Yeah, she's been caught. And that sort of a thing. Okay, so that would be good news for you because you will be justified that this person has done such an atrocity to you and, and, and you know, the universe or the karma returned to her. So then there will be a karmatic balance and you will have to deal with this situation another time. Okay, so it's not um, that you're celebrating, whoopee, whoopee. No, but you will hear that. Uh, Whatever that she has done to you, the same thing is in reverse. So the, the wheel of karma, that situation will no more go on the wheel of karma because it's been ill now. It's now balanced. She did something to you. Somebody else did it to you, did it to her. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's in balance. As we look in the weekend, a lot of people, a lot of you um, hurt people are having this emotional weekend. And we have the, the two of sword and the two of sword is peace, peace, 
on Saturday. So what's where is happening? We have the two of sword and it's peace on Saturday, and this is good. On Sunday, we have safety, which is the ten of cups, and this is wonderful. So this is your weekend, and this is a beautiful, beautiful weekend because whenever you have peace in your life and you have inner peace and outer peace in your world, you will have a beautiful ten of cups, which is the beautiful connection with your family. So I'm loving this the weekends for you. Um, this is the second sign, the second hurt sign that I have is having emotion um, very emotional weekends which is good good emotions and um, it is the week of water so it's extremely good your week was um, um, mixed with um, the same thing all the earth signs have been getting this they their week is mixed met certain aspect of um, a certain aspect of um, um, I'm certain any any energies and you begin with money like other earth signs and the focus is on your materialistic things but all is going to happen is that it's all going to be good because your wishes and dreams are going to come through whoever the sprints of cups that was affecting your life she's going to be falling out your worries about money is going to be over because something new is going to happen love is a very vocal point on Thursday there is a connection with love on Thursday it's a very um, good day on Thursday because it's a good connection point as we look at a Friday again there is going to be you're going to have a message about this uh, Queen of Wands who has been you know have done something against you and it's happening back to her which is and it's another form of good news coming into you what is happening with a ten of cups this the whatever the family situation is there is becoming a healing and this healing is from um, the Sun energy the universal um, angels and guides in the spirit world are going to heal yourself and the family so whatever the energy of the ten of cups is there's a healing coming in for your family as you connect with your family or whoever it is that you feel like a family in this um, this week you are going to see a wonderful connection that is coming in for you guys and this is you know this is profoundly wonderful so love is going to be um, a very very valued point in in and this in this um, week and for the people who are having relationships and there was the energy vibration of this Queen of Cups in your relationship she is now in the reverse form whoever the Queen of Cup is she is now in the reverse form she has no effect on you and she cannot affect um, you anymore okay um, love is um, powerful it's extremely powerful so people will be connecting with um, each other it's not going to be soulmate or twin flame relationship it's just going to be a connection that is happening whatever that was happening in your love relationship people were stabbing you in the back it's come to an end okay it's come uh, really to an end there's going to be good news and victory over someone a woman who is uh, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there's going to be a huge victory and you're going to have good news good news is going to come in and uh, it could be from her and if she reach out to you for a healing you know do the healing and let it go and you know walk away um, you can heal a situation but the, you know you can say hello to people but you don't have to be friends so you can heal a situation and you can just uh, leave it okay do not get involved that sort of a thing okay I have two energies coming out for the vortex so obviously um, the vortex wants to give you guys two messages today and the first message say I the first message from the vortex it say I can find harmony by feeling uh, by feeling for improved thoughts by feeling for improved thoughts okay I can find harmony by feeling for improved thoughts okay maybe it's me that sentence is not quite okay if we were contemplating an action that caused negative emotions we would not process with the action until we had resolved the negative emotion we would make sure that we had come into alignment with source before proceeding by feeling for the improved thoughts in time the unusual in a short time you will feel the 
harmony of your source. And you will know that um, appreciation, appreciation of your behavior. We will not look for the long list of right or wrong, but instead we could feel for the emotion of aligning in source. This is a wonderful, profound card. Okay, we have two of them, so we're going to move on to the second one. And what does the second one says? The second one, no, that, that is the first one. The second one says, inspired action is always um, pleasurable action. The domination of your thoughts is what's been everything to you. And it is behind the action that you offer. By seeking good feelings and thoughts that aligned you with your source, your action will then always feel good. You cannot muster enough action to compensate for misalignment thoughts. But action that is inspired from aligning thoughts is always pleasurably action. So these are two wonderful cards and I'm going to give you another card. I know, I know, I know, but I'm still, because I am doing um, the cards of abundancy because these two cards are so wonderful. Um, inspired action, I don't know um, about you guys, but I do vibrate with the, the vortex. The vortex is just energy um, gaps, energy void. Okay, this is another beautiful card I'm leaving you with. This is a wonderful, and it is from the note of the um, the note of abundance, and it says uh, one of abundance may um, cordial in is that the brighter your star is to shine, the more you attract everything, months, butterflies, and all that you need. At which point you begin learning what to celebrate and what to let fly on by or um fame on the universe so this card is a message it's a little note from the universe and some of these notes are strange some of them i'm thinking okay i'm not really getting it but maybe you guys get it because it says one of abundancy many correlations is that the brighter your light shines. Okay, all right. That's that's just the first. And then it goes on and it says, the more you attract everything, months and butterflies. So that the months is the 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 moles, the little moles before the butterfly comes out. You know, because remember, the butterfly was a caterpillar and then it turned into a little moles, M O T H S, and then it becomes butterflies. Next, it says, at which point you begin learning what to celebrate and what to let fly by on. Okay, so I guess when the caterpillar become the mole and, you know, you are about to fly out, that's when you're going to celebrate but then where you're big enough and you can't get back in the mole and you fly out of the mole, then, you know, just let it fly by. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out this card. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is your card of abundancy. And it's a wonderful card. I think it has the missing information in it. It is saying you should know when to let things fly by and when to celebrate. And I think that is what it's trying to say. Okay. So I'm leaving you with this. And I am, I want to say to each and every person, please like, share these videos. Um, um, thumbs up, um, likes and share, listen to your sun, moon and rising sign. I can't express that um, more and more. We have to learn to listen to our sun, moon and rising sign because our sun, moon and rising sign always have these wonderful messages to give. Okay. And I'm saying namaste until next week.